right now on the 5 o'clock news. Well, we are rapidly approaching 10 years since Superstorm Sandy wreaked havoc across the tri-state. And in that time, several measures have been taken to try and prevent a catastrophe of that level from ever happening again. All right, Fox 5's Lisette Nunez got an up-close look at some of the changes Con Ed has made in the ensuing 10 years. It's the blue blast that was seen in Manhattan and parts of Brooklyn. A Con Ed substation on East 13th Street exploding as Superstorm Sandy battered the Tri-State in 2012. 223,000 customers were left without power for days due to the flooding. Salt water gets into electrical components, whether it's the uh, conductors, the transformers, the relaying and protecting equipment we look, and that causes all kinds of problems with that equipment causing things to short out and fail. This month, marking 10 years since the storm wreaked havoc, Sandy forced power companies like Con Ed to put storm resiliency into the forefront in an effort to reduce outages and minimize damage to infrastructure. And during Superstorm Sandy, water rose over three feet at the mill yard. That led Con Ed to raise its substation and also elevate its exterior walls for extra protection. The company says $1 billion over four years were spent to fortify its energy delivery system after Sandy. The majority of the investments we made were actually made through New York State Public Service Commission authorizing us to make investments in our overall system. Um, there, you know, the, that's how the vast majority of this was essentially funded and paid for. Over the years, the power company has also installed smart switches on overhead lines to reduce outages and place power lines underground, a pilot program they are testing out in Queens and in Westchester County which makes them less susceptible to things like tree contact, where a tree was to fall down during high winds and take the, power, the lines down and interrupt uh, power to people's homes. As the country continues to see strong storms rip through the East Coast, Con Ed says more storm fortification projects may be needed and could come at a costly price. On the Lower East Side, Lisette Nunez, Fox 5 News.